Hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day 14. Today we are starting off the day with a little unboxing. Drum roll please. Comment below if you know what it is. You'll find out what it is. <laughs> Alright guys, so. Tech Guru Sonali coming at you. We got, well, let's start with the more important one. Actually. There's a Mac over there. I like to do it um, with my hands. Makes me feel more powerful, you know? Okay. Here we go. What? Oh, Damn. shit. Damn. <laughs> more control for it. Pretty cool. There's something else in here. Okay, so basically I got a flash for my camera. This is for my larger camera, the Canon 70D. I got the newer TT560 Speedlight. I'll link these products down below. Um, I just got this off Amazon, and I don't know how well it's going to perform just because I'm really, really new to flashes. It's a whole subculture of its own, um, so I really don't know anything about flashes. Like, they were talking, like, TTL and all this signal stuff, and I'm like, what the hell? So, <laughs> I'm going to have to start from fresh just like I did for photography. So, that's why I went ahead and bought a cheaper version, um, because... I know that there's a lot of photographers that use like Canon flashes, but those are like upwards of like 400 bucks, and I'm not really willing to spend that right this moment, but I did want to play around with some flashes. So I got this, and then I also got this Gary Fong Light Spear <laughs> Collapsible um, Speed Mount. I don't know. What I'm... Anyways, this is basically a diffuser for the flash, so it's not going to be as harsh, and this is actually a bougie product, so at least I think. One of my There's favorite a YouTube link on it. Really? Oh yeah. He, I'm pretty sure he's a YouTuber and he just like made his own products, which is really. Oh, what's really up, cool. Peter Griffin guy? What's up? It's Peter McKinnon. It's not Peter Griffin. It's Peter <laughs> McKinnon. Anyways, I'm totally geeking out of like photography talk right now. Wow, I see some velvet up in here. How much were these people now? Oh, okay. So e each of them were like forty to fifty dollars. The total was like ninety six something. So. Something like that. Yay! So this can like go this way, this way, so it's not directly on the subject. I need to, oh, I need to get batteries. Can you remind me when we what go to the grocery store? Um, double A. You know, like a billion double A's. Yes! Okay. grab them. Okay. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas. I should have made you wait. The thing with me is that whenever I like want something, I want it like today or like yesterday. So I could have asked for this for Christmas, but I just didn't want to wait. Oh, that's cool. It's like highlighter yellow. <laughs> you know what? Like it's... It looks really ratchet right now. Should I put it the other way? So I got it set up and everything. It was on manual mode this whole time, so it was kind of just like not working, and I didn't really understand why, so I was like looking up every freaking YouTube video, but then I just like switched the mode, and it works. So it's so freaking bright. Like, I, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm actually really glad I didn't buy the, like, expensive one, because I can't tell a difference, like, it's working, you know? What if it's, like, not as bright? What if the other ones aren't as bright? What? Just what you need. What? Maybe, like, adjust to what you need. Well, exactly. Uh, so, I think the expensive, more expensive ones, it adjusts your exposure and stuff with the flash, so it, like, you know, you don't have to, like, do all that, like, but I don't mind doing all that, I feel like, like... I'm happy. Kind of heavy though. Not gonna lie. Not to be dramatic, but I think that light is just gonna change my freaking life. I'm testing it out. It's just making me so happy. I'm literally such a geek. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> It is 8 p.m. right now. I'm in my car just waiting for my sister and my mom because we're having a little spa night. My mom gave us like a scrub and a facial for Christmas, so we're gonna get it done today. Um, I think my sister's like eight minutes away and my mom's like 12 minutes away, so I got here early, but it's all good. I can just like play on my phone. I'm like really, really excited about my flash on my camera. Like I know it's kind of like weird and like stupid or whatever, but like Holy crap, I don't know why I haven't gotten it sooner because that could have helped so many of my photos and like makes me so mad. But like also I have to realize that you're just going to keep getting more um, technology that's going to help 
you succeed even more and that's just how it goes um but i don't know i just wish i had it during all my grad shoots because sometimes the lighting wouldn't be you know amazing like you could always edit it in post but it's just more time that you have to spend on editing if you don't have like great lighting in the first place so I'm really excited about the flash and I took really cool pictures of Ryan. I'll probably already have inserted all of them, but he literally looked like a male model, which was amazing. So I already posted all of those pictures on my productions account. If you guys don't already follow my productions account, it's called Sonali Productions. Go follow it. I post a lot of like my grad shoots and just like photography that I take. And it's not always grad shoots. Like I posted pictures from Italy and like Georgia, you know, a lot of pictures from the past too, like food pictures and stuff like that. I also have a food account called Nolly Noms, which is like the cutest name ever, but I don't really like actively post on that. If you want to go follow that, I'm not going to stop you, but it's really cute um, and actually has some really good photos on there. I definitely need to like really actively post on like all accounts, but I have three accounts, three, which is a lot. So it's hard to just post because I don't even like really actively post well I mean I actively post on my own but like not every single day so I think it might have been a year and a half ago or I don't know I think it was like during summer that my mom took me to the same spa I don't know if I told you guys but we're going to Jeju I don't really even know where I am right now I literally almost drove an hour away from Roswell I think it might be Duluth or Decatur one of the two but I posted a vlog and I said going to a nude spa I literally get comments to this day of people being like I just came here for the nudity and you didn't show anything or something like that and like the hell like you really expect me to put nudity in this video like hello I'm not trying to get demonetized here I just obviously used it as clickbait it is a nude spa but like you can't like take pictures or take videos in there so like I'm not gonna show anything it's weird when people comment that I just have so much concern for them but the battery's dying on this camera ask me if I have a spare battery right now probably not because I left it at home which never really happens I'm usually really prepared but I actually emptied all of the things out of my car but if I do vlog anything in there it'll probably all be on my iPhone but like I said I am getting a scrub so they basically scrub your whole entire body and you literally feel like a new freaking person like it's kind of gross too because when you're laying on the table you're you feel your dead skin literally coming off of you it's like the most disgusting feeling ever like you kind of want it to end so bad because you don't want to be surrounded by your dead skin but like also like it's a nice like massage so you don't want it to end I don't know bittersweet um but then my mom also is getting us a facial which I've never had before from here um and then they also have salt caves which I don't really understand what they are but you basically sit in them and like it does something good for you I don't know let me know if you guys know in the comments they have like a little mini restaurant in there so I think I usually get ramen so I'll update you guys when I get in there so I just got done with the services I actually got more than usual we usually just do a body scrub but we got a shampoo we got a face mask it was amazing it kind of hurt me a little bit but it was it was good in the long run and she was like no what are you doing relax and I'm like oh I know she was telling me to relax a lot and I was like I can't because when she like put my head up it's like my instinct to like hold it up you know she was like relax and I was like okay like, it's my baby <laughs> but like it wasn't really scary oh, and I was like my I wasn't though I was I relaxed was. and she was like it's so hard it. for me and to relax like, oh. Vlogmas day 15. Let's get the vlog out. Uh, we're at the mall. Again. Well, so I wanted to go to the mall and I had to pick up a pair of pants. And I just got off the phone with my sister and we're making plans for tomorrow. And we're gonna go snow tubing at Snow Mountain, aka Stone Mountain, but like we have like a snow thing going on. It's like fake snow. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fake snow, but it should still be really fun. I'm gonna cook when we get home. What? Whatever we bought yesterday. Mm. We went grocery we shopping doing? yesterday. Yeah, we didn't do a haul. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what do you want to do? You need to go to your dad's get something? 
I don't need to, but I don't know. It's kind of on the way home if you really need to go. I mean, I would just stop in and get something really quick. What? It's spices for my avocado toast. I bought toast and avocado and I need my garlic salt and my chili flakes and I literally bought it home, brought it home from college, so. Okay, well, at least we can get it. at the mall Mike called me and asked me if I wanted to go um Mike's his brother Mike is my brother <laughs> asked me if I wanted to oh shit I hit my car <laughs> um go look at some there's like Clydesdales coming to this bar I didn't think it'd be like this but holy shit there's so many yeah, people there's here yeah there's like probably 50,000 people here actually I'm so bad at like like averaging people it's a but lot, a lot of people. It didn't look like 50,000, but like, I don't know, because I'm really bad at that. So, what are Clydesdale horses? Clydesdale horses are huge horses that are, um, like the, um, Budweiser mascot or whatever in the commercials. Mm hmm. And they're here, and we're gonna pet our noses. Yeah, well, hopefully, there's a mob of people yeah, just people sitting in it? front of the Budweiser trucks. Just like waiting for the horses. I didn't so. think it'd be this popular. I thought it was something like found on like Facebook, like events. Right, right, right. I'm glad I got ready because we were just gonna go to the mall and we didn't really know what we were gonna do. But now it's ready for this. And I'm wearing a Christmas sweater and a lot of people are dressed like for the season, so I fit right in. So this is how many people there are. Well, this isn't even it, but there's the horses. Wow. That's a Christmas card dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think they are starting the parade. I thought it was just horses. I know, I thought it was horses. <laughs> Everyone's dispersing, uh, running to their cars. <laughs> so after we saw the horses, we went to eat dinner with Ryan's brother and his girlfriend. We went to, what, what was that place? In Can Oishkama. Oh yeah. So we had some oysters and a grilled cheese with like prosciutto in it, and it was really good. It's their pictures here. So now we're in Publix because it's just in the complex and I want to make like dessert. And on the way here, I was like Pinteresting re recipes and stuff like that. And I wanted to make something like super cool, but like in my heart, I really just want like normal cookies. cookies. I just want cookies. Spires and cookies here, not make them. No, that's not the same. But Publix does have really good chocolate chip cookies. They're like my favorite. Choices, choices, choices. Which one? So. What? Oh yeah. Let's just get the tub. You want like individual? Doesn't matter. Which one they choose? I don't know. I don't care. Those don't look like normal ones. Did they change their packaging? Looks very That's different. It's like the downfall of the brand manager. What? It's the downfall of brand manager. Why? You change the package and people don't recognize your item. Yeah, it looks you weird. Sales, you know, you know, probably choose something else now. Honestly, like I literally think I got something else. They don't look the same. Weird. What a marketing major you are, Ryan. Smart boy. So we're back home now and we've just made cookies, but I want you guys to see this commercial. Literally, we were just talking about this while we were buying the cookies. Hey everyone, quick FYI. Next time you go to the store, the silk has a new look. It looks like this now, okay? so. Don't look for this, you're looking for this. Don't say it wasn't there, it's there, where it always is. Big circle! I was trying to show her, she wouldn't be in the remote, I wanted to rewind it so bad and show her. It's good marketing. Because mm -hmm. now I know, and I wouldn't buy silk, but if I was going to buy silk, <laughs> I would know what to look for, it's instead true. of what I'm used to looking for. Mm -hmm. Just with the cookies, now I, they would do that commercial, I would know, wow, these are the cookies I always get, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like now. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-